Let's see how easy it is to program drum beats using included tools that come with Cubase, including Groove Agent 1 and Beat Designer. Groove Agent 1 is an MPC style drum machine that features 16 pads, but we have 8 groups of 16 pads, giving us 128 pads to work with. 8 velocity layers per pad, as well as 16 stereo outputs into our Cubase mixer. I could come over here to actually just trigger my different samples by clicking with the mouse or with a MIDI control. I have complete control over tuning, so if I wanted to come over here, tune. Or different filters, amplifier sections. So very simple to work with shaping the sounds. Now we could also have tight integration with Cubase, allowing us to have drag and drop capability. So if I wanted to take a drum loop, we'll listen to here, or guitar part. I can now just come over here and just drag and drop that onto an empty pad. Either from my project window or from Media Bay. So let's take our guitar part. I can also truncate the samples by moving my start and end positions. So now we listen to it. And if I wanted to actually play that in reverse. Or have different triggering modes, either one shot, which will play the sample all the way through, just from being triggered once, or whether it's on key hold, where it'll only hold down. Now we also have an import button, which will allow you to import MPC programs directly into Groove Agent 1. Now the Beat Designer is a MIDI plugin that is a step design plugin allowing you to program drum beats. If we look at this, we're gonna have all sorts of different patterns and we could actually have different patterns stored on keys here that could be triggered in real time via MIDI. So you get a plentiful number of patterns with it, but it's, it's simple to create your own patterns from scratch. We'll say we'll come here and I wanna make my own drum beat. So I'll just kind of paint in here. And this could be used with, again, with any different drum source, whether it's going out to hardware or to another virtual instrument, we're just showing in conjunction with Groove Agent 1. So if I move the notes directly on top, move the cursor right here, I could adjust the velocity levels. So I want to have a, and we'll throw in maybe a hand clap here, beats two and four, we'll increase the velocity. By clicking at the bottom, I get to insert clamps. To give me that stutter effect. And I can adjust the position and volume level of each of the flamps independently. I could also come here and have my hi-hats. And let's say I want my hi-hats to be ahead of the beat or behind the beat. We have two independent swing factors here and I could actually just adjust more of the swing. So if I wanted this swing to be behind the beat. So you can actually adjust that to get different rhythmic feels. I'm gonna throw in a couple more. If I wanted to incorporate that pattern into my project, I wouldn't. I don't have to synchronize MIDI clock or MIDI timecode. I could just click here in the upper left-hand corner, and I could choose to insert the pattern at the cursor at the left locator, or I could fill the loop between my left and right locators on my project window directly there. So now it's actually copied the files that I created my programs, my little drum beat, right directly onto my project window. So I could bypass this now and it'll just play back. Now one of the things that a lot of people liked older drum machines for was a great swing feel. 
So one of the hidden gems in Cubase is called a quantizer plugin. And this could work with any MIDI track again. So if we come over here, we could actually adjust our swing. To achieve a different feel. And we could also come here if I want to. Eighth notes or eighth note triplet or sixteen notes dotted sixteen notes. So different rhythmic values to achieve the same same pattern but different feels. So very easy to kind of get the coveted swing feel that's often sought after in R and B music. Now, if we wanted to work with drum loops, we could also come over here. Let's listen to our drum loop here. And let's say we want to start with a brand new instance of Groove Agent 1. So we'll come here, just load up a new instance of it. And what we want to do is let's listen to our drum loop again. And we'll mute our guitar part. Let's say I like the drum loop. But I wanted to actually change kind of the feel. I like the groove. I like the sounds. But I want to change how the notes were placed within the loop. I could double click. And this would launch me into the sample editor. I could select my hit points tab. And then I see my sensitivity here. And what this is doing is searching out the rhythmically significant points in the audio file. And I can see where I have my kick, my hi-hat, my snare. I'm going to choose create slices. So now as I create slices, it will automatically split up the audio file into the rhythmically significant portions here. Now we saw earlier that I could drag and drop those files directly onto pads, but now if it's a sliced up audio file from the hit point editor and the Cubase sample editor, I could just now hold down my shift key and release. And now each of the slices is now automatically mapped to each of the pads. So if I wanted to throw in different snare drum fills, I could do that. But you may have noticed that this little exchange light has lit up. And now I could drag that and it's going to create a MIDI file directly on my pad. So listen to it. Now it sounds exactly the same, which is now what we've done is we've taken the slices here and mapped it out to MIDI. Now what we can do with that, if I wanted to duplicate this, I could just simply, we'll make a couple copies and let's do some variations. So if I wanted to come here and reverse the MIDI notes, literally flipping the beat around, I could double click here and using my arrow keys, I could just kind of randomly select different pitches for each of the notes. So I could keep the same groove and the same sound. And let's go ahead and take a listen to it. But I'm going to use the same elements. So we have our original drum loop. Now sliced in MIDI, playing back. Now reversed. Now random. Now back to our original. So whether you want to program beats with Beat Designer, construct, deconstruct loops, drag and drop, samples right onto the pads, or work in an MPC styled interface, making drum beats with Cubase using Groove Agent 1 and Beat Designer is incredibly simple.